So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for Aesir. The same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim town. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Hey, how's it going guys? Captain Kiwi here. And today I thought it was time to clear up a misconception some God of War fans have about a mysterious character, Tyr. Many people believe the Norse God of War to be dead, and this is simply not true. For one thing, Mimir tells Kratos that Tyr was captured by Odin with the hope of extracting knowledge on how to open the gate to Jotunheim. Second of all, there's physical evidence of this. If you take a close look at the mural inside Tyr's temple, you will see an image of Odin and Thor standing over an imprisoned Tyr. We know that he's in prison because of the chains on his ankles and his neck. But how did this happen? How did the Norse God of War manage to get himself captured? This question is something the game does not answer, nor does the novel. But luckily for us, the official art book of the game lets us know a little bit of what happened here, and also why Tyr's statue is in such bad condition. This is what the book says. It's only later in their journey that the father and son realize that the statue's poor condition is not merely the result of natural decay, but also of a great battle that took place surrounding it. This conflict resulted in Tyr's mysterious disappearance and the flooding of the Lake of Nine. This realization the book talks about does not happen in a cutscene nor dialogue, but in four tapestries found inside Tyr's temple. If we organize the tapestries in the right order, we get a summary of the story of Tyr's capture. This is what I believe happened. Tyr helped the giants escape to Jotunheim, as we see in the first tapestry. This angered Odin and the other Aesir gods, as the giants are their sworn enemies, so they decided to wage war against Tyr. Next, Tyr took his army and met the Aesir gods on the bridge of Midgard. Here a battle took place between the Aesir gods and Tyr. As they were fighting, a giant snake appeared in the Lake of Nine, causing Tyr to be distracted. Thor and Odin saw an opportunity and started to beat Tyr senselessly, but they didn't kill him. Instead they took him to Asgard, hoping to extract knowledge on how to get to Jotunheim. As they left Midgard, the giant snake began to submerge the temple underwater. Now, if I remember correctly, Mimir says that Tyr's temple has been submerged for 200 winters, meaning that it has been 200 years since this battle took place. One can only theorize what happened to Tyr. Is it possible he escaped Asgard? I think that's very unlikely. Instead, I believe he's still locked away like Mimir was on top of the mountain. And it will be up to Kratos and Atreus to free him from Odin's grasp in the next game exactly like they did with Mimir. I honestly don't have any proof for this theory, but to quote Brock, I can feel it in my throat. The only thing we know for sure is that Tyr is very much alive, so please feel free to leave your theories down in the comments section below. But before I go, I just want to say that I totally recommend getting the art book of God of War. There's so much insight on the process for making the art direction of this game that I didn't think I would enjoy, but it's pretty freaking cool. And no, Sony's not paying me to say any of this, I'm just a huge God of War fan talking to other God of War fans. So if it's worth anything, the art book has the Captain Cuba seal of approval. <laughs> but anyways, I just want to thank all of my awesome members. People like Mario ST, Hidenova, a mere mortal. To name a few, go the extra mile by supporting my channel monthly. If you would like to do the same, remember to click on the blue join button. I also want to thank all of my viewers and my loyal subscribers. You guys rock. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit like and share. And if you want more God of War content, remember to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. With that said, thanks for watching, and remember, go forth in the name of Tyr.